What's up, YouTube, man? Y'all know this. It it's your boy Status Steve's on coming back with another fire vlog. The boy in the gym right now, but we about to pop out. My boy, two brothers racing today. He got that two-door box, so we got to go over there. Damn, I'm tired, man. We in this gym. But we got to pop out of my boy. You see what he's doing with that two-door box, man? I think he's going to go turbo or he's going to go nitrous. I don't know yet, but I want y'all to tune in with me. See what we about to do. The 85 under construction. See, you got the engine bay all cleaned up. And I want to do a video to see if y'all really build an LS on a budget. Like, super, super cheap. And squat plates. You mean squat plates, you use a stock mount. You use a stock mount. And then your cross member, some places like 30 Dingo ICC billet. Uh huh. They make cross members for like D bodies and stuff. I didn't find nothing for Caprice, but if you're using like a Turbo 350, Turbo 400, Turbo, uh, 700 R4, these cross members should be, you should be able to use those and just adjust them because they have a slit in your cross member. You can slide the transmission oh, me, dude, forward and back. Slit on there. So I'm using a Turbo 350 in here, so I'm just using a stock cross member. I may have to just put, slide it up a hole or back once I actually go down there and look, but. I mean, you only you wouldn't need to buy a, a cross member for that. But to get it in here, all you need is swap plates to set the motor in. Swap That's plates, y'all see them right there. And he did some homework for y'all. He said, "What well, these the F body, the F, F body, body headers, long tube headers. That's ninety eight two thousand two Camaro headers fit. If you got the, the frame brace on your uh, box over there, yeah, it's you... going to hit. So you either need to cut out a little bit on your frame brace there, or just remove the brace. Period." And they'll bolt right up. Y'all see the F body one spit. And them things look good under there too. Woo! Them things is dumped under there. Yeah. And all a lot of people saying that you can do what the S10 headers? I think S10, but I didn't know for sure. I had right, so we know for sure. So but y'all know the F body one spit. And it's proven that long tube headers make more horsepower than the shorties. Running AC on this car, but everything's mock up right now. Just getting it mounted in, but yep. like this you is said, OG radiator. OG radiator. Oh, this is the truck stuff. You know, it looks ugly, of course. But my goal right now, get it running. Once you get it running, then you can swap out stuff. Right. Then you get the nickname. You got the car in here. Oh, I'm gonna wait on this and wait on that. Man, get the car running first. Right. And then what? Take you five minutes. Swap your uh, radiator hose out. Get you a, a three core radiator. Whatever. But you got the car running. That's the main thing. Right. This cable here is just a regular uh, universal throttle cable. And that goes to the firewall yep, in the you back. Make your little, uh, get your wash out so it'll have something to tighten up against here. That's but, a big one too, that 102 yes. throttle bike. Oh yeah, I get my whole hand off in there. I know, like I said, a lot of those, what do you call it, the factory ones, the computers be all up under the hood. Yeah. It looks cloudy. It's already, it's already it's limping. Junky. You got a firewall grommet to run inside. I haven't hooked nothing up yet, but the same thing is already nice. You ain't right, gotta look, sit down trying to. It look clean. You really barely see any wires. Yeah. And you can tuck it in here and then bring the wires up and it'll be clean. It and he like chose to do these too. What are these? The I. This is, uh, these are ICT billets. So this ICT. is an off brand one. But ICT billet makes them as well. All I got that oh, was okay. for alternator, power steering, pump pulley. I just want you know, something to look nice. You can use the stock truck one. Uh -huh. It's gonna work just fine if you're on a super, super budget. So don't even worry about looking cute right now. I was able to have a little extra fun. Put this in there. You can use the stock one. Get you going. So use those. Yeah, y'all can use the stock mounts, and y'all can yep. use the stock truck warner pump. pump. So how much you thinking? Like you said, and then what's this? The fuel pump you said you're using or no? That's just the Corvette fuel filter regulator. So you use and the Corvette. It's a filter. Right, like I said, get the main stuff. Yeah. Why you got it? Like the wire harness. That's that's the biggest main thing. Y'all want to get a good wire harness exactly. when y'all put in the car because some of the old stuff may be fragile, yeah. maybe split lines down yeah. in it. And even on the stock harness. Me and uh, Steven's figuring out, you know, you got your starter wire, power wire, uh, oh, other wire yeah. for the fuse box to your old school. It should be one of those, so. We, like, we, like you were saying, yeah. we were using too many wires from the, the factory, so. Exactly. Y'all can see them back there. This is the stock fuse box. So we was using like, so the have, red wires, the pink yeah, red wire. wire there's a few more in here that you probably more. don't need, but I just left everything. It was already loomed like this, so I just run it over there. There ain't too much to it. Then I'm going to show y'all where the computer 
it just runs through. We'll run the computer, like you said, through the wall. And here's your plug-ins right here. But on the factory ones, all this stuff will be under the hood and it'll just look tacky. Yeah. So, so you can run another thing, you can run your battery to come to the, the front too. You right. can run your battery to the front and just have shorter battery cables, or you can run to the back either way. Right. But that, see, the, the harness comes with all this extra. You can mount it anywhere you want to mount it. I haven't even mounted it. Right, that's a lot. You can mount this yeah. one anywhere. Up in the dash. Got a lot of donks. I be saying they be putting their computers up here. Well, this part come off? No, they, I guess they dash come off of something. I be seeing the computers. And they put them in there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about these, but I just mounted mine in here. Y'all can see you got the shifter too mounted like last time. You got the steering wheel. Yeah, all those shifters. I, you know what? There's no like really cheap shifters. Like this one was probably what? How much is this being now? Yours, like Stevens, is like what? Six hundred bucks. <laughs> for, <laughs> for that he copy, huh? He copy. <laughs> <laughs> it was expensive as hell. How this, much was this one? This was probably being now was like what, two something maybe. You know, they oh. come with different gates. If you got a three speed, four speed with overdrive, they come with the gates. So then if you get the thing, what's that little center console mounted? Yeah. You can, they can build that around here. Exactly. And then super look. It's really awesome temporary. You know, if you want the console with the cup holders, you got your radio, you can get that. I kind of like this look on mine, though. Give it that, yeah, that like pro mod it. look. Yeah, I like this. I'm going to just use the old style radio. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm what gonna, I got in mine, though. Yeah, I'm going to put me an OG radio in here. And you're going to keep the guts. You're going to keep these guts, right? Yep. Get yeah, the guts is clean. They're better than what mine's. Look, headliner's all straight. So I even got the... The trim. Shit, got the back. Cover Y'all see how smooth this is? Y'all can tell this ain't never been yanked out the car or nothing. I don't even wanna, I, will, I want a sunroof, but I don't wanna yank this out so nice. And then- Right, I like how I look, you know. Look at the back trim, all this stuff just sitting in there good. Those. Oh, this is all intact, man. Yep. I probably need, I'll probably change out got the, the window. Got that crushed velvet. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? I was missing this little piece. If y'all yeah. got some, y'all hit me up. And you know what? Tag uh, Steve Davis, too, because he makes straps for these doors right here. Hey, Steve Davis, if you're watching this, man. I know he makes straps for that. We and need some. Hey, I'm buying his um, armrest. You know, you got some armrests for these. Oh, uh, okay. If somebody wants to get running, I'm getting some from him. Oh, oh, you trying to go hard on me then. You know what I'm saying? You trying to go crazy on me. Man. See, hey, look, he trying to get look, the glow up got, arm rest got, on me. Look, I got stock dash. Steven got digi dash. You what know you what mean? Saying? He got the Holly mount right here. <laughs> I got to get the stock stuff. That look good. Hey, I'd rather have that than have your car molested because Blue you. Ivy has been molested over the time. To do the LS squat, yep. to get it in the car, as you got it mounted yep. in, and just turn over, how much do you think a nigga had to pay? So for the actual run? Run. Going off, when you get this video, put the little numbers up by the head, start adding. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be too much editing, man. <laughs> so look, swap plates, 30, 40 bucks. Uh, if you're using OG transmission, uh, all you're gonna need is the spacer for the transmission. If your flex pay is dish, that's another 10 bucks. Yep. Drive shaft may or may not fit, depending on your application. So you may need to take that somewhere. You can get you an inline fuel pump, Corvette regulator, bucks, you need fuel line. That's probably front to the back of the car, be 40 bucks off Amazon. So I'll probably say probably 120, 150 for your fuel system. So what they pay for these? What, 300, 600 for these? I believe PSI is like 300 for their harness. Dang, that ain't even bad. No. 300? So they can be under 2,000 bucks? Under 2K. And then find somebody you gotta remove vats off the computer. Right. And, and Somebody got to remove the vats and everything off the yeah, computer once that. you get the car. They're gonna be running the drive. And they usually charge, what, 100? 300 maybe yeah they probably depend on your turn street tune you know because they do need that credit and that credit is like 100 bucks yeah so you look probably 150 to three something you know for that so man y'all hey look y'all hey he got the pro mod tank under here too he's talking about me i'm about to show y'all the pro mod tank man he got the pro mod hey when mother got a sump <laughs> y'all know what that means you know what now, I'm look, get you the sump that is gonna be like what 30 40 bucks now i welded my my tank on there if you don't trust yourself to do it, take take somebody to do it. All I did for that was just put inline pump. Oh they, yeah, cause old boy was asking about that. Uh, yeah, about the sump. Who did the about sump? About the sump. Yeah, uh, we I, just had to do it. He did his himself. I took mine for Able Racing. Yeah. And what did it. Do? Cause they don't even make tanks or sump for these uh, box Chevys, so you have to take it to a shop. He said no rims, but y'all see, he, he got them. I've already US, had, I had these in the garage got the U.S. mags on them, man. I had them in the garage too. And he's still gonna squat it in the back. But, but yeah, I'm squatting in the back. I might do call like you so you don't talk bad about it. <laughs>
But he doing this right now. We're trying to get all this bread and butter, get the end of the day all clean. Thanks. Shout out Brennan and uh, Steph. Shout out to Brandon and Steph, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And these go with Will's tag, his YouTube and that. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. already know. All I wanted was a clean end of day for now. So I have a clean area to work. Right. I put it in, you know, at least I'll be happy with it. Outside, I don't care about it, you know what I'm saying, right now. But clean end of day, he'll get you hooked up. Pricing varies. Don't ask me how much I paid. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you said it. They be asking, too. How much you paid? That thing wet. If they tuned in that last video, they would have seen it. Yeah, they saw how I looked beforehand. Now, I took the motor out and power washed it, so I did all that work myself. Hey, now, the dude that painted mine, y'all, we ain't gonna talk too much about that, but... So, under 2K, y'all can get y'all a LS swap, put it in the car, and run it. Depending on your skill level. Because some people may have to pay other people for other stuff to do, but if you can do it all yourself, man, you for sure probably looking under 2K. Y'all see the OG back here. What year you said this is? 88. 88. This all OG, y'all. OG, y'all see the guts. We can't mess with this one. He got to leave this one alone. Yeah. I'm going to do maintenance on that one and dry that one. AC, heat, everything blowing this thing. Run like a sewing machine. And blue for sale. I know people been hitting me up about it. Man, what I'm, I'm mad about that. As soon as I get mine going, what you want to sell yours. You want to sell yours. You want to get. I can sell mine. I can buy this one. I just need OG. Man. It's for sale. Y'all come pick it up. Y'all just give me 25k. Y'all can have the car, man. And I, I put the top on it, everything before y'all come get it. Y'all see it, man. So y'all get in the comments. Make sure y'all share and like the damn post. I'm gonna run these Z's up.